Last Thursday, the Murray State basketball teams gave fans a sneak preview of their upcoming seasons. MSU Tonight reporter Corey Sharber has more on the annual tradition. The 2019-2020 Murray State Racers basketball program is officially underway following this year's Racer Mania on Thursday. A tradition that's been going strong since 2014, Racer Mania is a free event that gives the fans a preview of what's to come at the CFSB Center. Fans were able to get autographs from the men's and women's teams, and those who have signed up for Winter Circle were able to get a John Morant replica jersey. The first 300 fans were able to get a free Chick-fil-A sandwich. Both teams are coming off appearances in the conference tournaments while the men's team made it to the round of 32 in the NCAA tournament. The women's team finished 13 and 17 last year, and this season they will play against Louisville and Mississippi State, both teams who made the Elite Eight. Media Relations Associate AD Dave Winder has high hopes for their upcoming season. Coach Turner's team was picked eighth in the OVC poll. They were picked last a year ago. So I see that as progress. Uh, she's got the freshman of the year coming back in Macy Turley. And I think they, they're they gonna have a growing process as the season goes, but they'll be, in, they'll be in the hunt for the OVC title come January. The men's team is looking to win their third conference title in a row to make a third straight appearance in the NCAA tournament. Longtime sports writer and radio personality Will Aubrey says the sky's the limit for the program. I think this year's team will be an excellent team and they have a chance to be as good or better than last year's team. Clearly John Morant is going to be difficult to replace, but uh, they've got other players who will be better than they were last year and I think all in all it will be a different team but it will be a very good team. Both teams will play exhibition games at the CFSB Center on November 4th to kick off the year. The women's team will play Georgetown College and the men's team will play Martin Methodist. For MSU Tonight, I'm Corey Sharber. The Department of Art and Design will present the 2019 Monster Mash on Thursday, October 31st outside of Old Fine Arts from 10 to 3. They will be selling artwork from students. This year, they are selling window decals, quirky Halloween themed chashkas, postcards, magnets, and more. It's sure to be a graveyard smash. The Clara M. Eagle Art Gallery is hosting two different exhibits, and the upper gallery is Exhibit Professional Blend 7. The works are by student artists that are currently in Art 399. They not only have to create the art, they have to install the art as well. The lower gallery is host to artist Katie Gallimore in her showcase, In Your Way. Her art utilizes a variety of media and some pieces are meant for audience participation. Professional Blend 7 is on display from now November until November 8th. Katie Gallimore, In Your Way, is on display from now until the 4th of November. Both pieces are open to the public and the gallery is open from Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Have you ever seen the Racer Band and just thought, that band is way too small? Well, you're in luck. This Saturday, the Racer Band will be hosting its first ever band day. Almost 500 school band students will come to Murray State to play 2001 and Thriller with the band at halftime. So if you ever wanted to see a 718-person marching band, you should definitely check it out. For those interested in fresh produce, local products, or just a different experience in grocery shopping, the Murray Farmers Market is the place for you. The market is a great place for people to gather and spend time with each other, as well as get some great products in the process. The market takes place from May to October every year from 8 to 12 on Saturday mornings. There are many different options for sale at the Farmers Market and you have the assurance that they are always locally grown or produced products. Some options include produ produce like tomatoes and zucchini, homemade bar soaps, fresh eggs, and much more. Local vendor Paula Gross has some comments on why the farmer's market is local to producers. We love being here at the farmer's market because it provides for us um, opportunities for our families, all of the families feel that way, and for the community. And it's a great way for our customers to have homemade items, homegrown items, and to know what really this community is all about. And we always recommend anybody to come out here to the farmer's market so uh, they can get to know their farmers 
in your community. And it's a, it's a great outreach, and you can make some friends out of it. I hope to see some of you at the farmer's market when it returns in May. It is a great opportunity to support local farmers and producers, and you can get some great stuff in the process. Stay with us. There is more fun to be had on MSU tonight. Don't touch your remote.